Hey, it is Angela with the Okemos Coffee House, and I am currently waiting for my kids to get out of practice. <laughs> I'm in my car right now. But I'm feeling, um, so I, I don't have any makeup on or anything like that. Um, but I, something's weighing on my heart and I feel like I should just say it and then it's said and then I can, I can move on. Um, so this project is slow and I'm, I'm learning so much and going through so much, um, and we're gonna get there. We're gonna get this place open. Um, but I wanted everyone to know um, that I, I, I do see that we are in um, a blessed and scary um, situation for us. Um, and so we're trying to open this coffee shop as debt-free as possible. Um, the idea of going into a big loan and then I've got three kids that need to go to college just don't sit right with me. Um, so we're trying to bankroll this as we, as we go. And so far, um, you know, we're, 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 we're doing okay. We're okay. Um, but another reason is that it is really hard, really hard, um, for us to get credit and we are not bad people. Um, we just have really bad credit and the, what happened, um, so my oldest is almost 18. Um, when they were born, and um, about three months old, we took a trip across the state and stayed with my in-laws um, just to kind of get out of the house and have someone else cook for me um, and clean. And it was a long drive and I wish they could have just came to our house and done that <laughs> for us at our house, but we, it, it didn't work out that way. So we, we had to go to them. And so we did. And I remember specifically the meal that was made um, and, and staying over and staying up all night with this colicky baby and, um, all day and just being exhausted, but feeling like, okay, I can be exhausted, but I know someone else is going to cook. So that's great. Right. So we, we had our first experience of going to grandma's essentially. Um, and it was, it was fun. It was fine. And then, so let's fast forward. Um, no, Let's not fast forward. Let's back it up. We get in the car and we drive for about an hour and then we got to pull over so I can feed the baby. And this was before, um, like nursing was even, um, like kind of, not that it's mainstream now, but before it was accepted. Right. So I was the first person nursing my kids in front of a lot of people. Um, and that was, that was stressful. Right. And so anyway, so we're, we're driving, we stop, he needs to eat. So I feed the baby, feed him, change diaper or whatever, put him back in his car seat. And then we drive the rest of the way home. And as soon as we turn on our block, I just felt it. I just felt it. And you could see like the light was on by our house, right? Like what's going on there and then so we keep driving and we pull into the driveway and we notice all the lights are on and the front door is open the screen door is closed but the front door is open and just light is just shining out and it's dark and there is just light everywhere just light and I'm like this is not good and my heart is racing. I don't know what to do. I want to go in the house and see what the fuck happened, but I'm a brand new mom and I will cut someone <laughs> over this baby, right? Like I, I'm brand new mom. 
So I, I stay in the car with the baby and my husband goes in um, with the dog and just looks around. And it felt like it was forever. It was probably a minute or two, but it felt like forever. And he comes um, back out with the dog and his eyes are huge, just no color and his skin pale and just kind of like shocked. And I was like, what happened? And so I get out of the car and I was like, is anyone in there? <laughs> and he's like, no, I don't, I don't think so. I think they're gone. You think they're gone? What? <laughs> so I get out of the car. I grab the baby. Because I'm not leaving my baby in the car. I'm, like, I'm not leaving this baby at all. Grab the baby. Scoop him up in the car seat. Go inside. I'm looking around. And um, our couches are turned over. The um, seats are pulled out. Our speakers are gone. Our TV's gone. Um, the glass stand. It was cool back then. Um, was pushed over and shattered. Um, and we, we had a small house. So the living room was boom right there. So you could see all that stuff. And I started walking um, back. And I go in the baby's room. Brand new stuff for this baby. The dresser was stolen. Um, the everything except for the crib, basically. Um, we had a mountain of diapers, uh, a whole closet full of diapers, um, stolen clothes, you know, for like a year. Cause we had just had the baby shower maybe like six months ago and we had all this stuff. Um, and it was all basically new and they took it all. They took all of it. And that was devastating. And then I went into my room and they took my jewelry. They took my, um, jewelry that my grandma gave to me um so sentimental pieces I don't really have expensive jewelry but it's more of like the sentimental piece of it they took that um but they they took it but they they destroyed the house they didn't just come in there and like knock stuff over like they destroyed the house right like they pulled the drawers out and then just threw them on the floor. Um, the bed was completely unmade. Pillows, like, it, it was a disaster. And then the next thing I really remember is uh, walking into the kitchen. And all the cupboards were open. And it looked like they had made a meal. Um, there was, like, Cheez-Its out like they were eating them because uh, it was a brand new box it was a brand new box of Cheez-Its um, and it was open and it, they were all over the floor crunched up um, just just everything and 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 they took our food they took our our um, like our paper supplies which is super weird but like and so I was pretty stocked right because I was brand new mom and I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to leave this house with this kid. I don't know how to do this. So our house was stocked, right? So we had like paper goods, like toilet paper, paper plates, um, all that kind of stuff, toiletries, you know, like for like a, a few months supplies. Like we, I was ready to be at home with this baby. Um, and they, they took all of it. And they took all of it. And it was, it was horrible. They took our computers. They took, they took, um, they took all of it. <sighs> and it's not the stuff that I miss or I'm sad about. It's, it's the, someone broke into my home that we had worked so hard to bring this baby to and someone just 
went through and destroyed everything. And we didn't have much. Like we worked for all of that stuff. So that happened, okay? So we call the police. The police come out. And the baby's crying. The baby's colicky. And the cop said, Can you please shut that baby up? Talk about trauma from already being raw because I'm a brand new mom. Our house was stolen. The baby has colic. And this cop says to me, shut that baby up. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. So I'm carrying this baby around. I got one boob out trying to feed him because I don't know what else to do and we're going around looking where this person or people could have been in our house and they're like oh we can't we can't dust for fingerprints or anything right now we're gonna have to come back in the morning and I was like what <laughs> so that we went and stayed at my aunt's house. I don't think I slept. We came back um, the next day. A guy came out and did like, tried to look for fingerprints or like act like they cared. And then we heard a call come on his radio that there was a fight down the street. And he got all just testosterone up. And was like, I, got, I gotta go. We're not ever gonna find this guy. I gotta go. You've got your police report. That's all I can do. And left. And left. Um, so we have a police report. We made our insurance claim. But these assholes did that. And they took our... Um, our log box... And we had just got the baby's birth certificate and social security number and all of our stuff was in there. And they took it and they sold it. It's so like every three months, something like hits on our credit and it's not us. And my baby, who's going to be 18 soon, we've already had to fight things off. Like, she didn't even have a, a way to. She didn't even, like, get to start at zero. She's like starting at negative. You know what I mean? You can't just get a new social security number. It's going to be a forever burden. On us. And on my, on my child. And it. So all these emotions come up whenever we have to like fill out any financial form, right? Because they're like, why is your credit so bad? It looks like you have 40 or $60,000 worth of credit card debt and it's not ours. It's not ours. And we're constantly fighting it. And we've worked really hard to be where we are. And keep this up. By this house. Uh, but to open this coffee shop. So, so when I say, like, for me, it's, 
it's a labor of love and it's been a long time coming like we've literally been saving forever to open this coffee shop and to try to heal those wounds at the same time um And it's, it's hard, like, living out here, being, living without credit. Um, and, and that's just, that's just where we are. That's what, that's what we've had to do. Um, we had to find, like, the shadiest mortgage guy ever to get us our loan. For the house he understood people understand if we show them all the stuff but but understanding and looking at the numbers and submitting it to the big companies that run everything it's is a, a disconnect and that's one of the reasons why i wanted to make a, a small hometown coffee shop was because I want to be the face. <laughs> and I want you guys to feel like when you come into my shop, you're safe and you're at home. Um, and, and all of that. And so it's just, it's just a lot of trauma, I guess, coming out. Thank you for listening. So the update is the um, the township wanted a couple more things on the blueprints, so I had to go back to the blueprint guy to get those made, and it, it took like two months. It took like two months. And I'm hoping I get them back soon so we can get started. But I'm terrified um, that we're not gonna have it done in time. And then we're just gonna like run out of money. We'll get it. We'll get it. I always figure something out. I always do. But this is this is where we are. This is my life. These are real tears. I don't wanna have to go to a banker. And be like, well, 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 this is me. Um, because we're now like two months behind on, on the project. I don't want to have to go back in debt for this. It's a lot. I'm going to get through it. I'm going to get through it. Like in this summer, I'm going to be amazing. Everything's going to be great. But right now it's hard. And I just... I just wanted to show this because um, I know a lot of people out there are maybe feeling sad right now too. I'm four minutes late. I'm just sitting in the school parking lot. I gotta go get my kid. Peace. Subscribe, like, whatever. <laughs>